Uh, with me uh, currently today are the um, movers and shakers of the Sorghum Festival this year. So, uh, Charlie Hayden, who is the, what's your title, Charlie? Well, the, it's for the chamber, chamber, yes, vice president. Vice president of the uh, chamber, Washington County, Springfield, Washington County Chamber of Commerce, and who are the uh, sponsors of the Sorghum Festival, who run the Sorghum Festival. Everybody gets that mixed up in case you uh, didn't know. Um, you know, oftentimes people will comment to me and other city people, city council members and things that, you know, this is what we need to do with the um, Sorghum Festival. And so I said, well, it's not the city that does, does the it? Sorghum Festival, it's the yes. chamber. So... And, uh, and they even have a sub category of a sorghum festival committee as well that helps out for about four months or so before the festival yeah to kind of help take charge of it as well so yeah so it and it takes a lot of people now our um marlita marlita tomlin that is the new uh, director uh is that the title of the chamber of commerce executive director executive director mm -hmm. well welcome mark because we haven't had a chance to no. uh visit with you yet in your new position. Now I hit the floor running. You sure <laughs> did. M middle of the year too, so. Yes. So I know this has been uh, uh, pretty, probably pretty difficult because, you know, there's a, the Sorghum Festival has been going on now in uh, Washington County for how many years, do you know? That's a good, good trivia question. I would, as far as I can remember, and you can probably remember further back than I can. That's right. It was before you were born. So. So um, I can't, I, I know that, again, in the 70s, so um, I'm not exactly sure when. Well, then we need to find that out, don't 40, we? 40, 40 years 40, or so. Yeah. So, and then, um, uh, and of course, the uh, chamber, as I mentioned, has always run this. And it takes a lot of manpower. Uh, to do this, and uh, the city does help out, and our tourism, uh, I know that um, our tourism director is helping, and then I'm, I'm sure our Main Street Renaissance director, Nell uh, Hayden, and uh, again, Stephanie McMillan, tourism director, but tell me now, uh, I know every year it's a little bit different, and we've gotten back to the Sorghum Festival name, yes. and we're delighted about that. Three or four years, maybe, or so, yeah. I want to say. It's, it's been yeah. back to the Sorghum Festival, so. Yeah. So, and this year, the date is? September 29th through October 1st. Yeah. It's a little early this year. Up for debate still, but yes, maybe yeah. a week early. Yeah. So, but but I but I like that, and hopefully we're not gonna have any rain. Yes. Hopefully. Yeah, because uh, you know that's oftentimes been a problem that first weekend in October, we get so aggravated. Three years in a row, I think <laughs> maybe, or at least the last two years, I, I will say. But. And 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 with all these people working so hard to make it a success, and then you have the rain come in. Yes. Oh, it's just so disappointing. So we're not having that this year. That's why we moved it up a week. Right. September will be a little bit drier, hopefully. Yeah. So tell me now what your all's plans are for the Sorghum Festival this year. Well, we're starting on Friday at 10 o'clock in the morning with the Kentucky Sports Radio broadcast. Um, we're setting up our tent down here behind the Judicial Center this year. And from 10 to noon, we're going to have the Kentucky Sports Radio. And um, we have some food vendors that are going to be set up. And so they will be able to, you know, eat and drink some while they're here. And um, then there's a lag till four, well, till six o'clock when our vendors will open up. Mm -hmm. um, well, and they're doing the farm to city breakfast. Oh, that's right. I Friday forgot. morning, I think it's 6.30 as well. Mm -hmm. The right. extension office, I think, kind of host and put on, um, and they'll have a guest speaker coming to that this year. Yeah. So 6.30, 7.30, early in the morning, but right. it, it'll, it'll be a good event to come to if you can. I think they sell, um, I think it's eight people per table, so they're selling tickets per table, and I believe the price is $10 per ticket. Okay. And don't hold me to it, but I think the guest speaker is going to talk about hemp, uh, hemp production in the state of Kentucky. 
and moving mm -hmm. forward and some of the pros and cons of looking into that. Will that be the agriculture uh, uh, The extension office. Oh, the ex is Well, that's who's putting it on. I don't think it's the agricultural. I think it was last year that spoke maybe, but yeah. I think this year they're having a different speaker to, uh -huh. to, well, know, just to change speakers, but uh -huh. I believe that's okay. that will be what they come to discuss and just talk about some of the value and things that uh -huh. um, hemp can do for the Kentucky economy. That's a good um, breakfast, and uh, it's well attended, and you have, you know, all your uh, farmers and agriculture people there, mm -hmm. and uh, and then other officials come, you know, uh, may, you know, probably our state representative and state, you know, I think they're all invited, our state senator. So it's a good opportunity to find out what's going on with agriculture right now. Right. And, uh, so I'm I'm gonna try to get to that breakfast. <laughs> we'll see. That's I'm not a farmer, uh, uh, so that's uh, early, early in the morning. morning for me. An early morning, I know. <laughs> but now, and that's a good way to start the weekend uh, uh, because it is the Sorghum Festival. So, and and then and now that I don't know about this sports broadcast, tell me about that a little bit that you say is going to be that morning as well. Mm -hmm. And since it's gonna be behind the Judicial Center, this year we're not gonna have the uh, barbecue, uh, Jim Beam barbecue classic going on at the same time. Right. Uh, that's going to be the weekend after. Mm -hmm. Normally we shared that uh, with the Sorghum Festival. Right. And so theirs will be the following weekend. So you'll have the whole back of the Judicial yes. Center. Opens up a lot more space space yeah. for the Sorghum Festival that way to use and utilize as well. Um, so we're taking full advantage of it because it gives us, you know, tent, uh, is the main stage still going to be down there this year? Yes. So Not the like main stage is going to be down there. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be different. Yeah. And uh, and you'll have all the vendors. Um, we're having our food vendors down there on, mm -hmm. um, you know, around the stage area. And then we'll have our regular vendor, craft vendors here on Cross, Cross Main, Main again. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. So now, what, what, tell me about this broadcast in the morning. What will that be the, that's just the sports station's regular broadcast and they're gonna do it from here? Yes. Correct. Um, Is that, um, you want me to talk about it? I don't sure. remember Matt's You all tell name. me, cause I'm not yeah. a, you know, it's Matt, Matt Jones for KSR. So that's he, what I thought would be Matt Jones. So that's who's coming down to do it. And he'll do his two-hour live broadcast from, the, from there. Kind of opening the festival, I guess, yes, for the two hours. And uh -huh. that, you know, kind of helps promote the festival that day. Um, he has a huge following via radio, Twitter, however it may be. He really does. And his program on, on TV as well. And so that's great. Yes. Yeah. Tourism set that up for us. Uh -huh. um, I don't know if we mentioned that Tourism is our title sponsor this year. And so they have helped with a lot of the scheduling. Um, and so that was one of the things that uh, Stephanie lined up for us. Great, great. That's certainly going to be different. And we've got a lot of um, sports fans around here, so that should be... He'll have a pretty good... He'll have a good crowd yes, there. Yes. That'll be well attended. That's what we're and, hoping. And then after that, so... The next one, I guess, is what we were saying earlier, is the uh, 4 o'clock would be the vendor set up, and then 6 o'clock is when the festival officially opens, I yeah. guess. Kicks off. Yeah. And and is there going to be a band downtown on Friday evening? Yes. Or, or at the, over at the, at behind the, the Judicial Center? Mm-hmm. Um, okay. PJ and the Cheaters okay. are going to be there on Friday night. Um, they're slotted, I think we've got them for 6.30 that night to start. Okay. And they're going to play and, you know, they'll close down the festival that night. Okay. What time will that be over? I think we're probably looking probably was, three hours. I think three mm -hmm. to three and a half hours, so. yeah. Okay. Okay. So that sounds really good. And then what <laughs> after that? Well, we started all over again on <laughs> Saturday morning, but this year we're having our sorghum breakfast again. Oh, good. Uh huh. Which and we it's had a long, long sorghum time. and biscuits. Right, right. And we're going to have it up on um, Cross Main. I guess it's where the main stage used to yes. be. Okay. Oh, going to have the tent set yes. up there mm -hmm. underneath the tent for breakfast. Oh, great. Yeah, from 7 to 9. Seven and to I nine, mean, okay. a, Good menu, uh, scrambled eggs, sausage, gravy, and biscuits, and then an extra biscuit for the sorghum. That's right. So we've got that. Who's, co who's cooking? 
um, Kevin Case with Hog Run uh, Barbecue. Oh, oh, great. Yeah. Yeah, he's going to double duty. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. That'll, that'll be really nice. We're looking forward to it. Tickets are on sale country already. Ham. Uh, it's not going to be country ham. We're going to just do sausage. Okay. Um, but tickets are already on sale. Um, most of our board members mm -hmm. have them, or they're available at U.S. Bank or Springfield State Bank. $10 mm -hmm. for adults and $5 for children. Okay. That sounds good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so then what? Uh, Start and shuffle. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Got that's the last leg of the of the uh, tri United tri County, tri 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 County. Yes. United Way. United Way event, and that's a really uh, good event. And so um, that I'm, um, you know, those proceeds go to United Way, which of course is really important. And uh, so that will be that morning, and people can still register for that, can't they? Absolutely. At uh, where where do they do that? They can do online um, at active.com if they want to do it online. They can go to our website, uh, SpringfieldKYChamber.com, and actually print the form and mail it in. Drop it by. Um, I'm here at the Opera House from 8.30 to 4.30 on Tuesdays through Thursdays. Okay. A uh, little bit more right now. Yeah. <laughs> and and so, uh, or they can, as you said, do it online. What's the, what's the admission price for that? $20. $20, mm -hmm. yeah. And a lot of these runners have already participated in the first two legs of, in Marion. Right. And, and uh, in Nelson County first, I guess, and then Marion. No, 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 no. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Ham days and then uh, ours. Yes. Right. Yeah. Sorghum festival. Now, um, on the after the sixteenth, it does increase. We do a late registration of an additional five dollars. Okay. So just so people will know that. Mm -hmm. And and they could register that morning even. Absolutely. Yeah. Only the first one hundred registrants get um, the T-shirt or our t-shirt and the um, goodie bag. So okay. we're trying to put together a nice goodie bag for everybody. Yeah. And so then the, uh, the that starts, the run starts at uh, what eight. time? I think it's eight. Eight o'clock. Okay. And it can be a walk too. I've had people ask if it's only for runners, but usually or in the years past, they've had a good showing for walkers as well. Mm -hmm. um, so if somebody doesn't want to run the 5K, there are several walkers as well mm -hmm. that participate. So. And I know they'll be coming through Main Street. I forget, it starts on Main Street and goes. And I think we're working, are we trying to post a map of? We can uh, post a map. Uh, it'll run down through Covington, um, back around Grundy, I mm -hmm. think, and then circles back Dr. around. Maze, maybe to Commercial, I think, and back to Main Street. Yeah. yeah, I believe. Yeah, I've never ran it, obviously, so I don't know. Yeah, no, I, I'm not a runner either. I, I see them start on Main Street and finish <laughs> on Main Street, and yeah. yeah, so I'm always clapping no, for them th when they come two, back in. That's a two guarantee <laughs> whenever they stop and start. Yeah, so then, so that's a good event, and then what else? Well, at um, ten o'clock, after the race is over, we'll give out our awards about 9.30, and then at 10 o'clock, booths open. Um, and we start, uh, actually, with the baby contest is first. Oh, everybody loves that. W well, that, is that gonna be on the stage? Main stage. On the main stage? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Behind the ju Judicial Center then? Behind the okay. Judicial Center. Mm -hmm. So, and if people want to uh, uh, participate in that, w can they register that morning, or they can register now, I guess, with you? Yes. And online as well? Um, we, can, we don't have an online registration on that, but they can get the form. Okay. And then they just need to print it out and bring it down. So they can get the form online, the print it out. I think is how most people seem to be reaching out. Right. Actually, I've got all okay, the forms on, the, on Facebook also. On the Chamber Facebook page mm -hmm. then? Mm -hmm. Springfield, Washington County Chamber of Commerce. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, okay, so good. And then, uh, and to the eligibility requirements on that are babies, how old? It goes up to, I think, four years old is the age on that. There's okay. five different age groups. It's like zero to six months, and then seven to 12, and then one-year-olds, two-years-old, and then I think three and four-year-olds. 
Oh, okay. Let me double check myself on yes. that one. <laughs> and see, does the three and four year olds, because there's a prince and princess contest. Right. As well, but I wasn't sure that. Right, the prince and princess will be the three and four year olds. Okay. Okay. And that actually doesn't start until 11. So okay. the babies will take up that full hour. Yeah. <laughs> And then uh, with the uh, prince and princess, are they are, do, are they supposed to dress up in anything particular or is it just whatever? It's whatever this year. They usually, I think in the past, have done like a cowboy the and cowgirl theme. Uh, yeah. theme. This year we, we kind of got away from that. We decided to just give them a little bit of freedom. Yeah, do what they want. Yeah. Okay, well that'll be fine. And They're much more creative than we would be at trying to help organize it anyway. So we said, let the kids go ahead and use their creativity and brains yeah. versus us saying, yeah, do what this. you need, right? And it'll make it, yeah, much better for us as well to see what they come up with versus telling them, yeah. here's the theme this year. So. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. <laughs> so then, so then, what's up after that? Dog shows at noon. Oh, that that's that's great. It, I worked that one last year, and I think the year before. And it's super fun. <laughs> um, it, we've had a great time. Did with you judge? It. I did not judge, thankfully. I think I was just in charge of helping mainly the dogs come out on off the stage, handing out goodie bags and things, uh -huh. things of that nature. But no, I've fortunately never had to judge any of the contests, <laughs> so I, I'll stay out of that part of it if possible. Yeah. Oh, that's a that's a really now. Uh, I didn't ask about the registration fees on the baby contest and all. What are those registration fees? Uh, it's ten dollars if you enter before the thirtieth. Okay. Um, which is the day of it, but if you do it on the day of, it's fifteen. Okay. And then, uh, in in the same way with the uh, little princess the prince and princess. prince. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then, then what about the dog uh, contest? What's the registration fee on that? Well, we have five categories. Uh oh. Um, and it is. Most obedient, owner dog look alike, <laughs> terrific pet trick, waggiest tail, and people's choice. <laughs> and you can enter one for five dollars, or you can enter all five categories for twenty dollars. Oh! <laughs> and um, we are going to have prizes. Uh, uh -huh. The people that are taking care of that are doing a good job putting together their prize. Uh huh. For the winners. Yeah. That will be really fun to watch. Oh, I think so. <laughs> I don't have a dog now, but if my dog was still living, she would have been the winner. <laughs> Which category? Oh. Okay. <laughs> well, maybe not. On, on, no, maybe owner dog not owner like, dog. No. Owner dog look like. Okay. <laughs> no, 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 not on that one. She's too big. The, She's the black lab black and, and red lab. hair. I, yeah. I see the resemblance. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so. Uh, um, then, well, Charlie, you might want to be in that. With, you, the, with the owner dog look alike? Yeah. <laughs> it wouldn't be fair that I would win. It, it, wouldn't, it wouldn't be fair. Uh, it wouldn't be a contest, would it? You, board members aren't allowed. Yes, yeah. exactly. I, I'm not, I can't participate, unfortunately. So, uh, and then what? Tell me what's after that. Oh, this is our first year for our baking contest. <laughs> We're looking forward to it. It might be our most popular so far. I think it is. I've seen a bunch of Facebook posts and comments back and forth to the chamber and just on Facebook in general about the baking contest. So I'm glad that really? everyone is working on it. It's doing a great job because I see it all over all over social media. So People are recommending so-and-so. Be sure and do this. You ought to do this. I mean, it's it's really. So now, what, tell me how this is going to work, this baking contest. Um, well, we're, we're going to have three different categories. Mm -hmm. um, we're doing a senior, and we're doing just adult, and then a youth. Um, we really wanted to try to get everybody involved. Right. And they can bring anything as long as it has sorghum in it. Oh. And we're going we're gonna to judge according to the age categories. So they will bring their sorghum item, baked goods, yes. already prepared. Absolutely. And it could be anything. Mm -hmm. um, we, I mean, I, we've kind of got some, I put recipes online for people to look at and choose from. Um, we've got cakes and cookies, brownies, candy, pies, mm -hmm. breads, 
people, you know, sor mm -hmm. you sorg them a lot in making breads, right. and then they make sauces. So uh -huh. anything goes as far as long as it has sorghum as mm -hmm. one of the ingredients. I see. Well, you know, I've been to some restaurants lately, well, that, uh, you know, are doing more locally sourced foods and things. And they're using sorghum. And, I mean, for in an entree, you know, okay. like a, some kind of chicken dish or with a sorghum glaze, or glaze and things of that nature. So that's pretty, you know, so they could even do something like well, that. I or should not? be a judge for one of these then. I know. I forgot. Maybe I take it back. I'm, I'm not excluded from everything, uh, but I can judge the food. Yes, the baking contest. Maybe they they'll, yeah. We'll maybe make an they'll make an exception on that, Charlie. Yeah. So I don't blame you for wanting to participate in that. <laughs> so that sounds really good. So what's the admission uh, entry since, fee on since that? Since this is our first year, we decided to just open it up to people and it's free this uh -huh. year. Um, in the future, we may put an entry fee on it, but uh -huh. we decided this year to do it, just uh -huh. come and enter. And so the judges will taste those items right there on the stage or in or in the vicinity of? the vis I'm not sure if we'll have them on the stage, mm -hmm. but it's definitely gonna be in the vicinity and the winner will be chosen that day. We're gonna have a, first, second, and third place winner in all three categories. Okay. And um, we actually have been working on ordering the prizes today, and I think there's some pretty good prizes available. Wow. Well, yeah. Great. Yeah. Well, it's just an honor to uh, receive the award. <laughs> oh, so, I would there think. you go. Yes. Well, great. That's good to know. Okay. And so if they, uh, any of these, they can... Um, like you said, they can get the um, uh, form online to uh, sign up and bring in, or um, um, and that would be the that would be the best way to do that. Then, or they can come here. We actually have a supply of all of the registration forms okay. um, here at the Opera House. They can stop in, and you're here. Tuesday through Thursday. I am, but now everybody that's housed here knows where they are. Okay. It's just a matter so of So even them if you're not in. here, they could still get the yes, form. Okay, great. And of course the Opera House is open Monday through Friday from uh, eight to four thirty. Right. So okay, and so then what do we have after that? Well I'll have to check the schedule. <laughs> uh, I think uh, okay, the baking contest and then it's the kids street games. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Unless I'm missing something. Uh, street games and Safety City. And Safety City. What okay. time is Safety City? Uh, 11 to 2. Okay. And what is that? Do you want to talk on that or me? It doesn't matter. All right, I'll let you start and I'll chime in once okay. I can think of something if we miss anything. Um, Safety City, we're having, um, we're going to do some uh, fingerprinting on the kids, do child IDs. We're going to have the little ID kits there. And um, we are having a fire truck. So we're going to have fire hats for all the kids. Um, we're going to have, uh, I think, an ambulance. Um, they're going to have, a, I think they're also have bringing in a totaled vehicle or a car from a car accident from texting and driving. So they're going to kind of show some statistics and things on that as well. And show, I think, uh, the rescue squad will bring that in for a short time to show kids that as well. Mm -hmm. um, street crossing safety, I think they may do, uh, the police chief said they might have some of the beer goggles or drunk goggles and let the kids put those on as well. Um, but I know a lot of the big focus these days, they said we're actually texting and driving for accidents. So they're gonna do a bit of tra training on that as well um, okay. to show the kids. Well, good. We have an educational component yes. here. Yes. yes. I think that's very important. I think that's really good for our young people. Well, good. That's good to know. And I guess that will be somewhere along uh, the that judicial... Will, when the breakfast is over, mm -hmm. we're going to be setting it up right there, on, up there on, on the on Cross, Cross Main. Main. Mm -hmm. Okay. By, by the clerk's office, I believe, mm -hmm. uh, where the main stage used to be, at, is that correct, is where, uh, okay. where they'll set up for that. Okay. Okay. Good. That's good to know. All right. So, what else? These are a lot of these are new programs. That's mm -hmm. so you all really been working on some new stuff and 
It makes being it more very fun creative, too, yes. and I'm just very impressed. Yes. Yeah. And so then the next one, which it's new for this year or new for the recent years, but years ago they did the street games for the kids. So we're trying to implement that again this year as well, and then we're going to set that up in front of the state bank. Um, that part of Main Street, I guess, would be the east side of Main Street. Um, they're going to set the kids' games up there starting, is it 2.30? 2, 2.30. 2 um, mm -hmm. I've got 2 to 4.30. Okay, I had 2 as well, but I wasn't sure if it had changed. And there's several categories and subcategories for that, um, really kids ages 3 to 12, 7th, 8th grade, um, can participate. And do we have flyers or sign-up sheets or anything for that? Not yet. We're working on those. And we're going to distrib distribute those to the school systems and the daycares um, probably within the next week or so. Okay. Um, but some of the categories, we're going to do a hay bale toss, stick course races, uh, bean bag toss, um, pedal tractor pull, Yeah. I believe, nickel in a haystack. We're doing a duck pond. Duck pond. Um, oh, good. And we're going to have little prizes for all uh, the kids. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So those are some, uh, those are some. Maybe a frog jump again, I think. Oh, that would ago. be great if you had a frog jump. Bring your jumping. frog or a toad, and we used to those years ago. And yes. So we're discussing in that as well, so. Oh, that would be great. And I'll participate in that as well. <laughs> I've been getting well, my, we love I've been feeding my frog every night to get him <laughs> strong for this, so. <laughs> Everybody loves the frog jumping yes. contest, <laughs> especially when they start hopping off and going every which yeah, way, and right. people start, you know, screaming. They don't want a frog <laughs> jumping on them. So, it's a lot of fun. Yes. <laughs> so then what? After that, um, pumpkin bowling. I think will be the last thing we do for the kids' games, and okay. then the next event. Doing some cornhole. They're gonna have cornhole corner in okay. the front of Mordecai's. So the other other side of Main Street, they'll do um, cornhole. Okay. And I believe that starts, is that 2.30 or 3? I don't mm -hmm. want to say. 2.30. 2.30. Okay. Um, that will last, hard to say, but we were saying 2.30 to 5, mm -hmm. give or take, I believe, the time. Mm -hmm. um, and then 3.30, mm -hmm. the, the veterans. It's veterans. I think that's a really nice did event. You no, I did not. The veterans. Um, that's okay. That's all right. Welcome home to our veterans, uh, particularly I think our Vietnam mm -hmm. veterans, mm -hmm. and um, and that'll be on the main stage. I know, and that's going to be a nice little ceremony. And I'm sure I know um, that we want to invite all the uh, veterans, Absolutely. particularly our Vietnam veterans to uh, be there for this event and be um, honored because of their service. And, and uh, you know, we've talked, uh, I just thought that was such a wonderful idea because, you know, our Vietnam vets were not welcomed home right. in ceremony after the war. And, you know, that was a very controversial war. And so I am just delighted that this one, and we want to, invite all our veterans to come to that, Absolutely. don't we? That's right. All and veterans are welcome, even though there is an emphasis put on the Vietnam veterans this year. Right. Um, but we want everybody to come and, and just be honored. Yeah, yeah. So I'm, I'm glad that they're, they will be recognized. So all you veterans out there, you be sure and come to this on the sure. at the main stage and uh, there'll be seating, I think, for the veterans. Of course. And, um, and that's at 3.30? Yes, ma'am. 3.30, so please be there. We want to honor you. And um, I, I just think that's great. And then you have, what after that? Well, then the booths and the food is going on, and then at 6.30 we're having our concert again. Um, on Saturday night we're having Lightning Rod and the Thunderbolts. Uh, they are a group out of Somerset. Um, they play a variety of music. Um, they play some blues, some jazz, some rock and roll, and I mean, just a little uh, bit of everything. Yeah. And so I think um, I think that everybody will really enjoy them too. Yeah. They actually this weekend are going um, to Nashville. They have been nominated um, for a Josie Award. Oh, great. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm really excited to, to see how they're going to, you know, come out on that. Yeah.
So we'll have dancing in the street, down at the Judicial Center, on the stage, and be all kinds of food vendors. And uh, We do have a craft beer vendor that will be here on Friday and Saturday nights. Oh, good. Yeah. Who is that? Uh, Lemons Mill Brewery out of Harrodsburg. Okay. Well, good. So mm -hmm. that'll be good. So that'll go well with uh, my uh, pork producer's big pork chop sandwich or, <laughs> mm -hmm. or whoever. Who, I don't know who all is going to be there, what vendors, but um, I, maybe the who, who are some of the, the uh, beef producers going to be there and... Mm -hmm. yeah. And um, I've got um, uh, just, I've got a kettle corn vendor, I have a lemonade vendor, uh, I think we've got some ice cream people coming, um, and then I've got the Hog Run Cattlemen's Association. I mean, several uh, different, yeah. there's about That's eight, yeah. I think, food vendors that are going to be here right now. Great. So anyway, is that set in stone? If people still want to be become food vendors, are we still, or is it full already? That's going to be decided probably in the next couple days. Okay. Um, I'm not sure how much space I have down there, and I'll be honest, we're walking it off um, to make that final decision as to whether or not it's open anymore. Okay. So, but still at this point, can people uh, get in who want to set up a booth on, you know, uh, arts and crafts yes. and things of that uh, nature? Yes. So um, they can contact you at mm -hmm. the chamber. So how, how did they get in touch with you? Or, was, or do, they, do they get in touch with yes. you? Okay. Yes. Um, they can come here. They can call 859-336-5412. Um, we're extension 5. They can get it online. Website, Facebook. Mm -hmm. Or yes. come into the Opera or House. Or get right. On, okay. Okay. So that's all good information. So people can still uh, uh, maybe set up a booth and maybe still be a, if they want to get in and be a, a vendor for food or what have you. Mm -hmm. And then do you still have opportunities for sponsorships or anything of that nature? We'll always take money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so they can I mean, still contact you. It takes a lot, a lot of sponsors to, to get this going. Right. And then uh, uh, one more thing. Uh, you want to, um, you probably could still use volunteers uh, or can people volunteer Absolutely. to participate and help out the chamber? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And again, or, they can walk or call in or stop in Facebook. If somebody, if volunteers mm -hmm. want to help, they can always reach out, mm -hmm. whichever is easiest, easiest for them, stopping by, calling in, okay. Facebook, email. And then I guess they could also contact you, Charlie, at, uh, and what's your number? Um, phone, email, you can email me. It's just uh, charlie at agentcharlie.com. It's probably the easiest to remember. Okay. Um, Facebook, mm -hmm. phone. Whatever's whatever's easiest. And then uh, uh, so there's other and then there's other chamber members. They contact Pat, mm -hmm. I guess mm -hmm. Pat Rose, who is the um, president of the chamber mm -hmm. currently, and uh, she's down here at the Opera House some. Yes. And so yeah, so there shouldn't be any problem with contacting you. Correct. Hopefully okay. not anyway. Yeah. And is there anything else we'd like you'd like to say in closing? In closing, Sundays. Sunday. We got Sunday schedule. Oh, we have our car and tractor cruise in, and we're real excited about that. We're trying to get a lot of cars and tractors in here. It's from 12 to 3. Okay. And then um, there's gonna we've got goodie bags for the first 100 with it includes a dash plaque. Um, and then um, we're having a live remote with WOKH in Bardstown that will be here. And then at three o'clock, when this as this closes, down at the main stage again, we've got um, the city is presenting their praise fest. Well, that's right. I don't know what I was thinking. Well, I for, uh, yes, we were just talking about that last night at our city council meeting. So that is, that will be at three o'clock on Sunday mm -hmm. at the main uh, stage. Yes. And I know there's going to be really good participation on that. That's oh. going to be. Very nice. Our first year for that. Yeah. And the city sponsoring that. But uh, and in, in the event of rain, 
uh, River of Life has offered to uh, have it out at their church. Okay. Oh, great. Yeah. So, but it's not going to rain. So, no. we're going right. to have good weather. We've moved, weather. Weather. moved yeah. it up a week. It's yes. going to be a perfect That's right. weekend. That's right. So, these are all great events, and we want everybody to come out and be, be at the Sorghum Festival this year. And uh, so, thank you all for being here with me today. Thank you for having me. Yeah, and thanks, thanks for, for all your hard work on it, because I know you work very hard, and all the chamber members, and all the people that participate. Yes. Thanks. Appreciate it. Thanks. Thank you.